I'm John Gastineau, staff scientist and physicist with Vernier Software and Technology. I'm going to show you one of the experiments from the Nuclear Radiation with Vernier book. This is a very short book. It just has six activities in it. It can be used either with a chemistry or physics uh, laboratory course. The activity I'm going to show you is the counting statistics activity. Nuclear counting statistics can be described either by Poisson or Gaussian statistics, depending on the number of counts per unit time. So I'm going to take a strontium-90 source and put it right up against the Geiger tube in a Vernier radiation monitor. Now, I've already done some setup in Logger Pro. Uh, I'll go through how that setup is done in just a little bit. I have chosen a count interval so that, on average, only one or two decays are captured during any single count interval. And if I take data, I see two graphs. One is the number of counts per unit interval uh, as a function of time, and you see that's just kind of a noisy number. Uh, it's a small number, zero, one, two, something like that. The lower graph is a histogram of those counts Per, per time interval. And you can see on the left-hand uh, bar uh, is the zero count bar. That shows that some of the time uh, there are no counts at all during a time interval. Uh, the most common result is to have one count during a time interval. I end up with a distribution that is asymmetric. This is a Poisson distribution. Now, I can change my count interval so that the number of counts during one interval is instead about uh, 15 or 20. And if I do that, the counting statistics will be described well by Gaussian statistics. So I'm going to go in and change my count interval. You can see here that it had been set down to about 2 milliseconds. I'm going to change that to 30 milliseconds. and. I'm going to click Done, and I'm going to clear my old data here and take a fresh run. This time, the average number of counts in a time interval is approximately 16 or 17, and my distribution of counts is symmetric, and the shape of it is very much that of a Gaussian. The longer I take data, the more closely that approximates a Gaussian. Now, I took data all night last night to uh, show what it would look like if we counted uh, for over 40,000 time intervals. Let me show you what that one looks like. And the graph at the bottom of the screen uh, is a histogram of my of the count frequency. The average number of counts in an interval in this case uh, was up around 570, uh, but you can see the shape of the distribution uh, is that of a Gaussian. The black line is a Gaussian curve fit that I have applied in Logger Pro, uh, also showing that this uh, distribution approximates a Gaussian. So let me show you how I set this up. This is my strontium-90 source. I'm going to need to put that back by the radiation monitor, but I have uh, a Vernier radiation monitor. It's a simple Geiger tube. I've got that connected to the digital port on a Vernier LabQuest Mini. I could also use a LabQuest 2. I'm running Logger Pro on my computer, and I'm going to open a file uh, that is included with the with Logger Pro for the counting statistics activity in the nuclear radiation with Vernier book. So let me open that file. The first thing that I need to do to conduct this experiment is to find a time interval in which I get, on average, only about one or two counts. To set that, that time interval, I need to measure the average rate of my radioactive source. So I'm going to put that right next to the radiation monitor. And this file is set up to take data once every second, and it gives me the, then the number of counts in a one-second interval. And I can see, looking at my screen, that my average number of counts 
is somewhere just over 500 counts in a one second interval. That means that if I were to use a two millisecond count interval, I should on average get about one count. Uh, I think when, I, when I'll do this experiment, I'll set it up to, to use uh, three milliseconds, so I'll get an average just over one count per interval. To do that, I'm going to go to my data collection diagram, uh, dialog. That is the icon right next to the collect button that looks like a stopwatch. And you can see the seconds per sample setting is currently set to one second. Um, I'm going to change that to 0 0.003 or three milliseconds and tap OK. Uh, let me clear the data here and I'll start taking data again. This time, my count intervals are very short, just three milliseconds long, and so I've got a lot of them going past. And you see that nice Poisson distribution uh, growing in the histogram. To collect the Gaussian distribution, I need to increase the duration of the count interval to get an average count rate of something more than 15. So to do that, let me stop that and go back to the seconds per sample field and let me change that. Uh, let's see, my average was, uh, here was a little over two, so let me just multiply that by, by 10. So I'll go uh, set it to 0 0.03 and clear data. So now I'll collect data using this longer time interval with the higher average number of counts per time interval. The distribution of the counts per time interval follows a Gaussian distribution. So that's all there is to uh, studying counting statistics using a Vernier radiation monitor and a Logger Pro. For more information on this activity or any of the other activities in nuclear radiation with Vernier, check out the Vernier website.